Hello, 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 and welcome everyone. My name is Eric Kent, and I'm very, very pleased to be with you this afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, join me, and uh, I wanted to say thanks for being here. Uh, I also want to say on, on behalf of my wife, Beth, who is my um, business partner, my wife of 27 years and partner in life, uh, we welcome you to uh, our website, which is njwedding.com. Uh, njwedding.com has been, this is our 25th year starting on Valentine's Day. So uh, we wanted to celebrate by you know, doing a, a Facebook live webinar, live events. Uh, to be truthful, this is the first time I'm hosting a live event. I've been involved with many Zoom events and meetings and lots of Facebook live uh, things, uh, but I never hosted one, so I hope uh, you can see me and hear me okay, and uh, we can have a fun discussion about uh, lots of things, uh, weddings and uh, business and the wedding community and getting married and a lot of good stuff. I have uh, a few things I wanted to share with you throughout the time, and uh, I also want to acknowledge that we have a number of people that pre-registered for this event saying they'd be here and joining us. Uh, this is not about us today. It's about everyone involved in this wedding community that we've been proudly serving for 25 years. And uh, we're happy to have you here. And I'd love to know who's here with us. Uh, I know there's a comment section here. You can like the post and you can uh, love it if you like. <laughs> uh, and you can also feel free to uh, comment. I see a few things here already. Uh, Thank you so much for being here, and we appreciate you so much. Uh, feel free, uh, if you're a wedding professional, if you're a vendor, uh, please introduce yourself and you know, feel free to put in your business name and, and website or uh, your Facebook page if you'd like and link to it. Uh, if you're a engaged couple, a bride and groom that is planning a wedding in New Jersey, uh, you're at the right place. We have lots of resources for you. Uh, lots and lots of resources for you, in fact, that we've accumulated over 25 years and, and more recently. And through technology, we, we want to share that with you uh, in a lot of ways. So, um, you know, first I wanted to kind of just share with you about njwedding.com and why we're here, what we, how we got to this place uh, 25 uh, years later. And I'll have to credit a number of people, but first and foremost, my wife, Beth, and I, we met uh, while attending Rutgers University. We met as sophomores. Uh, we had the same classes together and uh, got to know each other and started dating. And we just loved our experience at Rutgers uh, so much and spent so much time there that upon graduating, we got married at Kirkpatrick Chapel on the old Queens campus uh, at Rutgers and uh, really enjoyed that experience. Now, how did we um, plan our wedding back in 1994 or even 1993? Uh, there wasn't the internet. Uh, in fact, I didn't really didn't come around until uh, a few years later, perhaps, you know, maybe next uh, year or two, people started to hear about it. But we did it the old-fashioned way. We went to bridal shows. We picked up the yellow pages. We went to the newspapers, and uh, we went around to different shops and services and venues to check out where we wanted to get married and uh, how we wanted to celebrate our, our love and marriage together. So um, fast forward another year or two. Uh, in 1995, uh, we're visiting our friends in Boston, our friends John and Diane. Uh, hello, if you're watching, uh, we're always going to credit you with this because we had no idea what the internet was at the time. Uh, we were up there visiting and they were uh, doing some work at school and said that they were planning their wedding the next summer in New Jersey and they were using this thing called the internet. Well, we were just so happy to hear about it and they gave us a demonstration of this rudiment rudimentary uh, type of uh, a tool and all of a sudden it was an epiphany. You know, we had just planned our wedding uh, the previous year. We, you know, wanted to do something uh, on a bigger scale, and we saw that we had an opportunity to uh, really aggregate uh, wedding services on a website uh, that was becoming the way of the future. 
and we wanted to help other engaged couples uh, find the services that they were looking for needing to plan their wedding. So we registered njwedding.com back in 1996, and by February 14th, Valentine's Day 1997, we launched njwedding.com on the World Wide Web. Um, we had support from people that helped get us married back in the time, including our minister. Uh, we had met photographers and DJs and uh, flower uh, um, professionals, you know, floral designers. Uh, we just, you know, had the idea to put something together uh, that would really provide a directory of services that other couples can find, and we started building. So that's that's how we started it. And uh, from day one, it was uh, exciting to find the different things that were available and uh, get uh, different services to uh, put their information on our website to advertise with us, and uh, we helped them get started. So that's really the fun of it. Um, and it's just been an evolution. Uh, so much has happened over the past 25 years. Uh, here we are in uh, you know, a time that you know, wedding planning was a little challenging with the uh, pandemic over the past couple of years. Uh, I know that's an understatement for most people as well with wedding venues and services and couples having to postpone. Um, but we're getting through it and we're getting past uh, the difficult times and into what I hope to be uh, the future of um, celebrating love, celebrating happiness, and celebrating uh, togetherness. So that, that's uh, a lot of fun for me to share that. Um, by the way, again, hello. If you're just joining us, uh, my name is Eric Kent, uh, co-publisher of NJWedding.com, along with my wife, Beth. Uh, it's nice to see people are commenting. Uh, we love having you here. And please, we encourage you to continue to uh, comment on uh, why you're here, or, or rather, if you're looking for something as a, a bride and groom, as an engaged couple, uh, you can put that in the chat or the uh, comments. If you're a wedding vendor, please feel free to share information about what you do. Uh, I will share something, uh, first and foremost, a little bit about the history of njwedding.com for you to read at your leisure, uh, but it basically talks about how uh, we started, based on what I just said, um, and just share, shares our story about how you know we met. We, we met at Rutgers, we're, you know, we're, we're New Jersey people uh, helping other New Jersey people with a service like weddings. And uh, it should be an easy, fun process if you're an engaged couple you can find us on the web, njwedding.com. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about our other uh, options as far as Facebook groups and Instagram and all kinds of social media. Um, but that's basically our story. And, you know, what I think about when we, you know, have served so many different um, uh, clients in our, our website with venues and photographers and bands and DJs and people that are, you know, get into the wedding business to serve others and to be creative and to be able to have and help them in that moment of, you know, togetherness, uh, plan their wedding day. You know, everyone has a story. And that's what's fun about, you know, finding out about how you as a, uh, a wedding vendor can help provide services to an engaged couple. You know, making that connection, what makes you um, fit well together. If you're a photographer, how do you uh, engage your couple to uh, to take better pictures? And you know, how do you make that relationship? Um, if you are an engaged couple, how do you find the uh, videographer for your wedding? How do you find that venue that really fits when it comes to um, you know looking for the the right uh, venue that can hold your family and your friends and you know kind of celebrate that uh, that that relationship in you? Uh, and that's all about you know, building relationships, it's all about uh, finding different services. Uh, specifically, it's clicking into uh, the profile of each uh, service, whether it's a venue, whether it's a, uh, you know, someone who provides favors, uh, DJs, um, an officiant for your wedding who's going to marry you, uh, limousine drivers, whatever it is that you're looking for. You know, we've tried to make it as easy as possible 
through our website, njwedding.com, to help you find the services that you need, click in to research and learn about the vendors, um, and find out everything that you need so that you can contact them, connect with them, perhaps read reviews about them, find out um, you know, videos that they've shown. You know, if it's a videographer, you can check out their work. Uh, a photographer can show you the galleries of their photos. And uh, wedding planners can share helpful tips in, you know, in your wedding planning. So everything exists on njwedding.com to help you in your wedding planning. So that, that's our story. That, that was our vision uh, 25 years ago. And uh, really, it's evolved. You know, about 10, 12 years ago, we had, if I'm correct in my uh, timeline, uh, Facebook came into play and people started getting onto Facebook to basically share information about themselves. Uh, businesses started to develop pages uh, to, you know, contain content of what they could share, whether it's uh, a band they can share music and a photographer, a videographer can share uh, portions of their work, and you can find different services uh, like that. Um, eventually, Instagram uh, and Twitter became a big part of the community, and people can share uh, what they needed to with links to relevant information, articles and tips, uh, videos, everything was there, and you can start seeing them on, on these social media platforms. Um, and it's really made it much easier to find it or overwhelming, you know, you choose. Is it, you know, the fact that we have all these social media tools uh, make it more um, effective for you? Whether your business, if you're, um, you know, advertising and marketing your services on these tools, do you keep up with it? Do you share your know, information throughout the day or once a week or once a month? You know, how important is it for uh, wedding businesses and services to interact with uh, the community through these tools? So that, that's one aspect of it. Uh, and if you're a bride-to-be or groom-to-be, are you using social media? Are you using, uh, you know, Instagram? Are you using tools like Twitter, perhaps, or um, Facebook, or Pinterest, or Google My Business? You know, if you're Googling someone, are you finding what the business listings are and clicking in there. So I'm curious to know if you are, um, you can put them in the comments on which ones you prefer using. Uh, if Instagram's your favorite, I think that's become the favorite tool of choice um, because it's so interactive, because you can go online and you can actually go um, and scroll through those Instagram feeds and you know share them with your fiance or your friends or your family and uh, get their feedback. Uh, but these are all important tools that uh, have been developed for your, uh, basically, your, your use. Um, you know, Facebook has also evolved. And one of the things that we found to be very effective is connecting with uh, couples, uh, brides and grooms to be through our Facebook groups. And, you know, we started off with one Facebook group um, to, you know, kind of be... Uh, along the side of the right hand of njwedding.com's Facebook page. And I will share this with you, that in the past two years uh, during the pandemic, our group went from about 5,000 members, so whether it's couples and wedding professionals in the group, to about 18,000 in the past year and a half or so. And I find that remarkable because it shows me that um, Facebook groups have become a place where you can really interact. You know, I'm using this virtual tool to interact with you. It's it's a chance for me to you know say hello and uh, for you to get a sense of what we as a company have done and what we're planning and you know what we want to share with you, um, whether it's here or in various ways. But I also find that you know on a regular basis. Every single day when I get up and I get in front of my computer or get in front of my iPhone, I'm seeing a tremendous amount of interactivity within our uh, page, within our Facebook groups, and it's all about engagement. It's all about helping. It's all about, you know, if a couple has a certain question about where to find a makeup artist or 
the best uh, season for a beach wedding or uh, other ideas, there's people in this wedding community that are here to answer it for you. Um, so I'm going to share that uh, right now in the group, in the, uh, the chat. And you can check it out at your leisure. Um, because what we've done, and again, I wanted to just give you some resources, uh, Facebook wedding groups and pages you'll find um, that have also evolved. So we started with uh, New Jersey Weddings, and that really kind of went from you know, 5,000 members to 18,000. Every day we're getting more and more people joining the groups. Um, and it led me to want to create more. So New Jersey is, you know, uh, broken up into 21 different counties. And they're all different in, in terms of areas, northern, central, southern New Jersey. And I found that uh, going into, you know, southern New Jersey, uh, there's different areas that have different needs and different resources. So you'll find that, you know, there's a um, section for, you know, Cape May County, New Jersey weddings, uh, or Camden County, New Jersey weddings. Uh, in the center of the state, you'll find, you know, Mercer County, uh, New Jersey Weddings, and Monmouth County, New Jersey Weddings. And in the north, you'll find, you know, Bergen County and uh, Morris County. And we're going to continue to build out these Facebook groups and we encourage you to join because uh, it just, you know, we, we, there's a term called hyperlocal. And hyperlocal means that it all starts on a local basis. You know, when you're um, in a town, when you live in an area, or you work in an area, you really find that there's, you know, your community. And it's a small niche community. And, you know, we find that with wedding planning, New Jersey, as small a state as it is, it is a pretty big area and uh, with lots of different regions. So those groups are specifically uh, for you to join, to share your, you know, concerns or if you want feedback on certain things that are going on with your wedding planning, um, if you're a business and you want to, you know, share information in there about your company, uh, that's what it's there for so that we can help you um, promote that and provide service, you know, provide uh, exposure, more exposure for your service. Um, so th those are things for you to explore at your leisure. Um, I will ask you this, if I could take a minute to ask the audience and you can comment uh, now or uh, at your leisure uh, in a throughout the, uh, the time we're together, uh, what, are, what are destinations uh, in New Jersey that you would find or you would describe as a destination for weddings? Uh, you know, we can, I was going to say, you know, Cape May is a destination and it's a resort area for weddings, uh, Long Beach Island. Uh, the LBI, LBI region has become a growing uh, destination for weddings over many years. Uh, and I'm curious to know if you'd like to share uh, privately or uh, publicly on the chat uh, what destinations you feel are good, what we can focus on and we can share information about, uh, whether it's the Jersey Shore, whether it's the Skylands region, which is northwestern New Jersey. Uh, whether it's uh, Central Jersey or beyond. So uh, thank you for that. Um, and, uh, you know, I wanted to also, um, you know, share some things that I get asked all the time. And it's interesting because we're not um, uh, a company that, we're, we're just a resource for uh, people who are looking for uh, information about wedding planning, but every day, throughout the day, morning, noon, and night, we get phone calls. We uh, have a messaging function on our website, you know, allowing people to message us anything they want. And the, answer, the, the question that we often get asked is, is, how do I get married in New Jersey? How do I apply for a marriage license? What do I do? You know, I have my fiance. <laughs> That's all we know. Um, we're engaged, but what's the next step? And um, if you are a couple getting married, I'm going to share uh, something in the chat soon, uh, a specific link to our marriage section, so you can find out everything you need to know. 
if you're a wedding professional and you want people to, uh, you want to help your, your clients with those questions too, I'm, I'd like to share that with you and, and um, encourage you to, you know, have that handy or share it with, with uh, couples because that seems to be the biggest uh, question. Um, you know, during the pandemic period that we've all been through, and we'll talk about this, you know, in lots of ways, but uh, it really showed me that uh, marriage is a um, everyday occurrence. You know, there are couples that are getting married uh, throughout the week in New Jersey, uh, and whether it's being uh, married in someone's living room, at a gazebo in a local park, at a local restaurant, um, you know, the most important thing is that a couple that finds uh, love together and wants to share that love and uh, commit, to them, commit to each other is that they have a way to get married in New Jersey. And, um, you know, whether it's a small, medium sized or big event, uh, it's totally up to them what they want to do and that's okay. Um, so we put together a uh, list of uh, information about you know, how to apply for a marriage license in New Jersey. Uh, and I want to acknowledge also uh, Mitch Majid, who is in the chat. Thanks, Mitch. Uh, put a link to the local registrars. And these two links go together. So what this does is it gives you what you need to know in terms of, uh, you know, uh, applying for a marriage license, which is you have to apply in person at a local registrar, your town clerk, and then they can, um, there's a waiting period for three days in New Jersey. Uh, and then after that time, you can get married, you need to have your officiants uh, and two witnesses. I hope I'm correct in, in that, I think that's the case. Um, I've, I've given that advice often, so I think that's uh, the story. But the, the, the bottom line is that there was a lot of changes in the past uh, year, year and a half, during the pandemic, during the public health emergency, where weddings became, you know, a, a gathering and, you know, um, a concern when it came to health of friends and family and, you know, whether couples were able to get married uh, and have the wedding that they had planned or dreamed about. It was um, difficult and very challenging to to do that. So I know that the um, governor at the time had declared a public health emergency and made virtual marriage an option. Um, and that allowed uh, people to do that online. Uh, that's not the case anymore as far as I know. Uh, but if there are questions, uh, that's why we have a wonderful community of professionals to answer those questions, whether it's a wedding officiant, whether it's the uh, New Jersey Health and Human Services, which is the uh, vital registrar of New Jersey. Uh, all this information is on that njwedding.com uh, slash marriage page. Uh, and I, I've, I really um, empathize with couples over the past you know, year and a half that have had to postpone. I empathize, I, I empathize with um, the venues uh, that had a really tough time uh, because of the pandemic and also the services, obviously, that were contracted to um, serve all these couples. And I'm also encouraged that, you know, we're getting through this, we're getting through this as a very tight-knit community and that from what I've seen, that the wedding community at large, as a whole, will do anything and everything to help. This has been my experience, whether it's, you know, a couple that has concerns about postponing their date or concerns about health issues. Um, there are people here to help. There are services available. You know, there's lots of uh, photographers and DJs and, you know, they all know each other as well. So one of the things that, you know, whether venues are in a network together or there's associations that people belong to, um, I'm always encouraged by the fact that when you are planning an event like a wedding, which is a big 
expense, time, energy, effort, you're in good hands. And the community of people that are out there will do anything and everything to help you along. So just know that and know that when you're, you know, if you work in the community, you've got a great network uh, of people alongside for the ride. And if you're getting married, you can feel confident that people are here to help first and foremost, and also provide obviously a service that's creative and fun and will help you celebrate. But that's what we do in New Jersey. We celebrate. We celebrate big events and we celebrate in, in a big style, in a big fashion here in New Jersey. So that's something to be proud of. So um, by the way, please, I'm, uh, I'm eager to see uh, your comments. I really, really appreciate uh, the comments here. And uh, please uh, send, you know, give us a like or a love. Let us know you're here. Uh, if you have any specific questions or you want to introduce yourself, please uh, feel free to do so. Uh, we talked about marriage. We talked about registrars. Uh, we talked about the you know, process of planning a wedding. Uh, also, the evolution of uh, wedding planning and how couples have found that you know, this format, for example, um, may be more, first of all, more convenient and applicable for their needs. So one thing that we've learned in the last couple of years is that technology um, like Facebook, like Zoom, like uh, FaceTime, uh, and texting and all the things that we've been able to do with technology has been such a huge, um, I guess, to unburden people that they want to travel around and, and go different places because it gives them the option to meet with a DJ or, you know, meet with a, a venue and do a virtual tour or meet with a photographer and have them show them uh, their work off of the computer. So, you know, whether it's Facebook or virtual, other virtual platforms, uh, I'm amazed personally that it could be done. And I think it's also very convenient. It's healthy. We're not wearing masks. Uh, we can see each other's faces and have an interaction. Um, what I found interesting over the past several years or a couple of years with uh, technology is, you know, how you can build relationships. Uh, within the Facebook groups, for example, that I'm amazed at all the brides-to-be and grooms-to-be and the wedding professionals that are constantly interacting. And if there are, or if brides are interacting with brides, they're sharing tips, they're sharing advice uh, from their past weddings. And I'm enjoying the fact that they're getting something out of it. Uh, and it's all building relationship through the computer, through these uh, social media tools, and I think that's a really a positive thing. Uh, now, granted, the best thing that I felt is in person, you know, meeting people in person and, you know, obviously gathering in person, and that is something that I take a lot of pride in, uh, whether I'm going to uh, industry events or bridal shows, uh, there are, you know, many ways, or weddings, you know, in, in general, or events in general, there's always uh, the one-to-one -one interaction and building relationship with people along the way that is the most important. And um, on a personal note, you know, just, just looking at people that are here, uh, people that uh, we invited to participate in this, uh, this chat today, and the people, you know, seeing a list of people that we've known uh, for 25 years, uh, it's just really quite amazing to me how, um, you know, it's really the people that you meet along the way that is so special to the uh, interaction and, and how you get to know people and how you get to grow uh, in business, uh, in life. And uh, I think also, you know, when people tell me, like a photographer or venue that works with a, a couple planning their wedding and then they have their wedding there, that they become like family. And, you know, that's because they help them celebrate something very personal and do it in a way that makes them feel great about um, doing business with them and coming back for more. Does that make sense? Um, so that, that's something that I really enjoy uh, hearing about. And that's a, a personal thing, but it's, um, you know, something that we take a lot of pride in. Uh, I'm going to share something else because I mentioned it. 
you know, if you are a, um, a bride-to-be, if you are a, um, and you want to go with your uh, girlfriends, with your fiance, uh, your um, parents, you know, whatever it is, there's so many uh, bridal shows that are out there. And I want to share a link to bridal shows and wedding planning events that we keep on our calendar. Let's see if this works. Um, and update regularly. So there are, I would say, bridal shows uh, pretty much every day of the week in New Jersey, and uh, sometimes several on the weekend and Sundays. Uh, but that's the point. So you can go and meet uh, wedding professionals, photographers, see their work, go through their albums. Uh, if you're a wedding professional, you can exhibit to show what you've done uh, to the people who are looking uh, for your service. And what better way to interact is in person to show them your work. Uh, I've been to several bottle shows this year and over the past few years. Um, I remember I was at a bottle show in March 2020 when uh, the pandemic started to hit and we all started to use uh, our elbows to greet each other and uh, hand sanitizer on a regular basis. And uh, that's, you know, a good habit. Uh, but, you know, people are, are, have learned to interact and find ways to get together. And that's one way that you can do so. So if you're an engaged couple, you can use that list for um, finding what's coming up uh, tomorrow, this weekend, and all the months and you know, weeks to come in the future. If you are a, um, a vendor and you want to exhibit, you can go click on the, those links and you know see who is uh, producing those shows. There's several producers of shows in New Jersey and we'd love to support them and promote their events. Um, I also want to talk about, you know, networking among the uh, wedding professionals. Uh, we've done a lot of networking. Obviously, bridal show is great because you can meet uh, lots of different wedding professionals in one uh, place. And we are, um, you know, big advocates of uh, networking within the industry. I can say that you know, groups that we belong to since day one of our business, you know, 25 years ago, uh, we still have relationships with people that are involved with those associations uh, still to this day. So that's, you know, they become like family and lifelong friends as well. Um, I know there are associations like uh, ILEA that are, you know, big advocates of getting together every month and we're like doing a business card exchange so vendors can meet each other and the special event industry is thriving in New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. We have this tri-state area of, oh my gosh, creative wedding professionals, um, brilliant people that are just, you know, great at what they do and can brainstorm and collaborate on a number of projects, uh, whether it's weddings or big special events or, you know, concerts or big expos. Uh, I'm flabbergasted as, as to the degree of what people can do with event planning and event uh, production. So um, if you have questions about, you know, where to go, if you're an industry professional and want to know, you know, what groups to join or what groups to at least go and check out, uh, message me um, and uh, we can uh, go over that, those ideas. I know I personally like to go to uh, events as long as there's people that are there talking about weddings and talking about events, I'm there because I'm interested in that topic, I'm interested in marketing, I'm interested in relationship building and understanding what uh, the trends are of the industry. Um, I mentioned something with regards to the pandemic, you know, the pandemic had a big effect on trends, uh, how people planned, how people attended, as we, as we talked about in terms of mask wearing or, you know, washing our hands or how we greet each other. Um, how people do business in terms of whether they're going to meet a client um, or, or a service provider at their office or outside of their office, uh, indoors, outdoors, uh, and also what kind of trends really resulted as of a degree as in, in terms of the pandemic itself. Um, you know, a number of restaurants have established outdoor areas. Uh, you know, venues have established, you know, tents outdoors during that time so that they can um, accommodate, you know, 
events that would be safer and be able to, to come through. Um, that's one of the things we learned. And, and outdoors are safe. Um, indoors, you know, given any restrictions that there were as well are safe. And I, I feel good that we're moving in a direction that we're getting better and better uh, in terms of public health, in terms of uh, gatherings and interactions. And so we can all celebrate again as we should. Um, you know, these are all the things that we do in the wedding industry. You know, we talk about trends, we talk about um, businesses, you know, that are out there. Uh, I love traveling through New Jersey. There's so many interesting places and so many areas. If you haven't traveled through New Jersey, you know, obviously different parts of the shore are taking the, the long route down to Cape May, um, you know, along the shore road. Uh, going to bridal shows, you know, going to events, uh, going to industry events. There's just so many different types of people that are out there and so many things for them to offer. Um, and that's what's important to us. I mean, as we, as we kind of look forward uh, to what we can create uh, for you uh, as a resource, we're open to anything that you need. We love to you know, uh, create, um, for example, if anyone wants to put in the group uh, chat or the comments, um, we have about, uh, we added about six or so counties within our Facebook groups. I'd love to hear what counties you think would be uh, advantageous or would be the next counties to add, uh, because we want to be able to create that and provide a resource for you to, uh, to grow your business or as a couple to find services for your local wedding. Um, you know, and we have been building our directory constantly since, you know, day one. It started with one uh, client of ours, which was the minister, uh, Reverend Wayne Owens, who married Beth and I um, on April 17th, 1994, uh, when we started our website and we were, you know, sent out a mailer. Uh, he was the first one to... Uh, respond and say, hey, Eric and Beth, great to hear from you. I enjoyed you know, uh, officiating at your wedding a couple of years ago. Uh, what is this whole thing called the internet? And how can you explain it to me? And he became our first uh, listing on mjwedding.com. And ever since then, we've expanded it uh, in several categories. And I think we have about 40, 45 categories of services. We have um, uh, lots of different uh, things for couples to do. On the website, whether you want to look at photos, uh, watch videos all day long of you know past weddings, read reviews of uh, venues and different service providers. Uh, I'll share one more thing. If you are a couple and you'd like to uh, enter, we have a fun contest that we give away a, uh, a Visa gift card every month. So I'm going to put that in the chat for you, and you can do that as well. Um, but the, really, the whole thing about why we exist is if it has to do with weddings and if it has to do with New Jersey and parts of New York and Pennsylvania, what I mean by that is we travel throughout basically the contiguous areas of New Jersey, so into Staten Island, into Manhattan, into um, the Bronx and Westchester, Rockland County, uh, Orange County, uh, the Pocono region and uh, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and Philadelphia, Delaware Valley. These are all areas that people are coming from. They live there. They come into New Jersey. People are in New Jersey. They're planning the event in New Jersey or Pennsylvania, New Jersey or uh, the city, uh, New York, and they want to be able to find services uh, for their wedding. And we're here. We're, we have services in every region, in every county. Uh, and I found that uh, people will travel. Whether there's couples looking for services, they'll travel into the city or do a virtual event like this and you know be able to meet with them. Uh, and DJs, photographers, florists, they'll travel anywhere as well. Uh, planners uh, will travel and help create a, um, a space. Uh, I've always found that interesting with event planners, wedding planners, uh, people who do this for a living and create decor, create, you know, take a blank space and create something beautiful uh, out of it. 
um, you know, whether it's a, a trend in New Jersey, like a rustic wedding, so an old barn that has been sitting on someone's property for 150 years is now a rustic wedding venue and provides an amazing backdrop for the photos and for space for an event and planners know what they're doing when it comes to you know, creating um, uh, everything that you possibly need to uh, create an event and to execute the events for their clients. Uh, that it's just amazing to me, and I'm constantly learning all the time how you know people can do that. Um, but you know what? If you have a dream for your wedding, whether it's any size, whether it's you know if you want to get married to your fiance um, and you're looking for the marriage license, it's on our website. You can chat with us. You can go on our website under the marriage tab. And find out everything you need, uh, find an officiant. If you wanted to be married in a small ceremony, you can do that. We have uh, restaurants, um, normally they do bridal showers and rehearsal dinners, and they've been hosting smaller weddings, they've been hosting events uh, during the pandemic because it's been advantageous for the couples to have a smaller wedding, uh, but they are continuing these restaurants to host events uh, up to certain sizes. So you can find those uh, websites and those uh, venues and restaurants, properties on our website. We have a category for elopements and micro weddings. Uh, we have a category for, like I said, uh, country and rustic weddings, which has been a big trend and continuing. Um, you know, a trend that was uh, 10 years ago, even more, a photo booth. Uh, we have a category for photo booth rentals. And everyone loves photo booths and has such a good time with photo booths at their wedding. We have a number of uh, providers that have photo booths, whether it's specifically for that or if they're a DJ or photographer and they offer that service as well. Uh, they have um, lots and lots of resources for you there. Um, I see a lot of brides asking for referrals on you know beauty, hair and makeup artists. Um, uh, it's all there. Uh, we have a, a couple categories for beauty, uh, makeup artists and hairstylists. And it's really just it runs the gamut. There's anything that you need, um, it's there. And if you're in the wedding industry, you know, Beth and I are here uh, as your marketing partners, as your marketing supporters. We're here to help you promote your business, uh, whether it's on our website, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, Pinterest. There's a, a, a lots of lots of, lots of ways to promote uh, at these days, and we've got our strategy all set, so we can help you do that. Uh, we find it very effective to provide space in our Facebook groups so that you can comment, you can post, and you can share information about your business. Things happen fast. Things go quickly uh, when someone posts something, and you know it's almost like if you're, if you're there, you can comment on things and. Um, participate and you know otherwise you're kind of searching for uh, you know brides posts and you're, you're searching for information and it'll be there stored for you when, when you're ready. Um, I'm going to give a little plug if uh, it's okay with you all that if you are interested in being listed on njwedding.com we've got it all planned out for you in terms of what we do, what we offer uh, from a featured listing to a pro listing or a basic listing. We have lots of options and the different price points obviously to work with your budget. But really it's here to help you and that, that's our bottom line. Is that we always want to help our clients succeed, achieve what their goal is. Um, and you know really just kind of be that partner uh, when it comes to marketing. So I'm going to include uh, are a link to our listing options, details, and rates for you to look at at your convenience. And obviously, we're here to help. Um, but let me let me go back to goals for a second. Now, goals is uh, an important keyword in our business because I would say, and I'll speak for Beth um, on this behalf as well, is that I, I don't think we would have gotten in this business and started our website 
together back in, 19, in the mid 90s, if it weren't for goal setting, uh, having a vision as to what we wanted to achieve in you know, creating a business together, really. And our business is serving the wedding community, you know, creating a resource that is not only valuable that people find, but they come back to and, and expand that resource more and more as we find ways to do that. So that's in a sense what we've always you know, tried to do. Um, I make it a, an annual uh, commitment as best I can to uh, write down goals every year. And, and you know, here it is February 9th. Uh, so early January, I sat down and I said, you know what? What do, I want to, what do I want to achieve this year? You know, that's a little bit outside my comfort zone, if you will. And I wrote this down. I wrote, host a live webinar, whether it's on Facebook or Zoom or different formats, because um, I really wanted to interact with you. I wanted to be able to provide some resources, perhaps share some stories or some ideas. Um, you know, perhaps we'll do some uh, other types of things in the, in the future. Uh, but I set a date for today and invited a lot of people along the way. And I'm really grateful for those who have joined us today and those who will watch this in the future because I, I think it's being recorded. I hope so. <laughs> um, but when it comes to, you know, providing the service, it's a everyday um, effort. It's a, a fun and exciting and it's a thrill to be able to find, you know, new resources. We stay on top of the trends. We stay on top of the uh, laws and the restrictions and the things that open up. You know, there's so many new businesses that open up. We want to be able to provide, um, you know, marketing for those businesses or provide space to share about those. We love exploring, you know. So um, really it's about stepping outside of the comfort zone and expanding our our reach. Um, we've been very um, you know, grateful for uh, being able to do this. Uh, my wife and I uh, work together. We you know, have thought about this for many years and it really just kind of uh, is the, it's what we'd love to do for you and with you. So you know, with that, thank you for, for being here today. Um, and you know, I want to be able to you know, answer any questions that you have uh, whether it's here in these comments, you can uh, message us through Facebook. Uh, you can find us on Instagram. Uh, I'm actually going to type in our Instagram here uh, because I find that Instagram, hang on, Instagram.com slash NJ Wedding. This has been a really, really big tool for us, and I think we went from you know, just a few years ago of having a few thousand uh, members on our Instagram account to over 18,000, almost 19,000 now. Uh, I find it to be very interactive. Um, if you are a wedding professional or a couple, uh, we always invite you to tag us. Uh, you just tag us at NJ Wedding uh, because we find that that's, you know, then we can see what you're posting. We can share your work. Sometimes um, a bridesmaid will, will uh, share an engagement picture and we love engagements in New Jersey. You know, we, we've been able to, this is actually engagement season. So happy engagement season to everyone there. Um, this is a really big thing for uh, couples to get engaged around this time. And we love seeing them on Instagram and we'll share them as well on our story. Um, <clears throat> if you're a business, and, you know, we, we, we want to see your work. If you're a florist, if you're a photographer, DJ, we'd love to see what's going on in the wedding community uh, and, you know, what new trends are taking place so we can share about them. Uh, when we go to bridal shows, uh, personally, I love taking pictures and sharing them on our Instagram channel because, you know, I'm discovering new trends, uh, new services, new venues, uh, all the time and you know sometimes it's uh, you know fun to be down on the Jersey Shore and it's really you know it's exciting to see how many people get married on the beach or at Jersey Shore locations it's a very unique 
setting for being in New Jersey. Uh, and at the same time, you know, there's beautiful spots up in, um, you know, the country. Uh, we have a very historic state with, uh, you know, from the Revolutionary War to, uh, you know, look for unique and historic venues, uh, mansions, and estates. Uh, it's really amazing to me how many places, how many choices that couples have when it comes to wedding planning, uh, how many different venues there are, how many ideas you can have, what ideas you can create with the help of, you know, the wedding professionals in the community. Um, and it's just indefinite. So every day becomes an adventure. Every day becomes uh, a new, exciting story about what's going to happen and what we're going to discover. Um, and I really feel like it's something that we've been able to do together. So, you know, so Beth and I, you know, appreciate you and everything you've shared with us so over that time period. Um, we've learned a lot. We appreciate uh, so much of what you shared and your support over many, many years. Uh, we've also, I'll, I'll tell you something personal as well, because we have a couple more minutes uh, within the context of the uh, webinar or live event that uh, over the course of you know 25 years, uh, we had three children. We have three children <laughs> um, who have you know supported us and everything that we do, and we love working um, on their behalf. Uh, so Ellie and Zoe and Ian, we thank you for everything that you've helped us with and your support. Um, and I will share, if you don't know already, that we've expanded our business in the past uh, a couple of years. In addition to njwedding.com, we launched a website called njparenting.com. And one was the inspiration of our family, of course. Uh, but two, we've met so many uh, event professionals along the way, and a lot of them asked us if we would consider doing, um, you know, publishing a website that would talk about bar bar mitzvahs and sweet sixteens and things and errors and other family and milestone events. So we proudly, you know, stepped up and said, you know, let's let's put something together and develop njparenting.com, which is really now developed into a resource and directory for those services plus family events and what's going on in different towns around New Jersey as a uh, calendar of events. Um, it's a lot of fun. And, and all, all of this that we work on is exciting and it's always evolving. And um, I guess what we'll do here is, I'll, I, haven't, I haven't thought about this before, but I will put our njparenting.com website link in there. And feel free to Explore it, check it out if you have, um, you know, a need for that in terms of um, marketing. If you are uh, a young um, couple that are, are getting married and, and uh, looking to start a family at some point, we hope that when you do, you'll uh, join the website and see what's available for newborns, toddlers, and families in general. <laughs> um, but it's a, it's a lot of fun to be able to. You know, to, to sit here and interact with you all, knowing that there are professionals out there that have made it their life's work to help couples with their wedding plans, with their event plans. Because I know people in both walks of life that are people that are wedding photographers, and then the, on the weekend, they, you know, will do a Series 16 or a um, uh, Kinston era as well. And they have all these skill sets in which they can, um, you know, interact with families for their milestone events. And what's amazing to me as well is over the 25 years we've been in business and within the community, knowing that um, people are here to serve for a lifetime. And that's what I've seen. So someone that may have, um, uh, you know, shot a, a, a photos at someone's Sweet 16 uh, Ten years later, perhaps, are shooting their wedding, and the family just goes back to that photographer, that DJ, that you know, invitation company, and that company knows the family, and that's the part of this all that kind of brings everything together. It's about family, so um, you know, from from our family to yours, you know, we appreciate you. We love uh, serving this community. 
We are grateful for 25 years of your support. Uh, we're here for the next 25 to do more. And as we, um, you know, all evolve, we're here to bounce ideas off each other, to collaborate. You know, there's no idea that's not good enough to pursue. It's just, you know, thinking it through and, and getting to the next level. Um, so I, I'm here to answer any questions you may have or, um, you know, just know that, you know, you can visit uh, the website, you can find me on uh, you know, Facebook or Instagram, we'll find our resources, our, you know, social media pages, our groups, join them. Um, you know, I, I want you to be interactive, I want you to be active, um, because that's how it gets done. You know, people like to know that when they're interested in something, one, that people are responsive, and two, that uh, it's a community that cares. So I've felt that way all along from the, from the moment that we got involved in, you know, choosing to uh, get started with this uh, wedding community and event community and people that are in this, this profession. And it's been nothing but a tremendous, um, uh, you know, gratifying thing to, to see. And I hope that what I've shared with you uh, today has been helpful for you. Uh, we're here to help with anything as you're going along. And, you know, we're just uh, have, happy to be here and uh, serve uh, your needs. Uh, and again, if you're a, you know, a bride and groom and you're looking to plan the wedding, please come on to njwedding.com. Um, we have all the resources for you that you need. If you are a wedding professional, we'd love to talk to you anytime. We're here to help. We're here to share and collaborate and market and promote and that's what we love doing for you. So uh, with that, I just want to say a big thank you from Beth and I to all of you. Um, till next time, and uh, I do have plans for next time, because <laughs> uh, when I set this goal, I set a goal for four uh, virtual events per year. So I think we've come to the end of the first one, and I'm very, very happy that we were able to spend some time on a midday on a Wednesday together for this. Um, and we're here to help going forward. All right. So thank you all. Wish you well. Enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, we'll talk again. We'll connect again soon. See you later.